Welcome back to Primetime News here on SABC News. Now, Nelson Chamisa is the interim president of Zimbabwe opposition MDCT following the death last night of its leader, Morgan Changarai. Chamisa was elected at an emergency meeting of the party's National Executive Council in Harare to lead the party for six months. Now, party heavyweights Togazani Kupe and Edward Mazuri, who was also vying for the leadership position, didn't attend the meeting. MDC supporters mourn the passing of the only leader they have known since the founding of the party in 1999. <laughs> and the Central Executive Committee has to grapple with the difficult task of nominating an interim leader. Uh, we are uh, very much certain that we've lost our very crucial soldier at a very important and crucial moment. We are just four months away from an election and we've lost a commander. But what I can tell you is that we do not have a crisis of the generals on the field, of those who are going to be lieutenants to make sure that we win the battle and the war against the incumbent. And we'll win this election. And our only gift to President Richard Morgan Shangrai is our total victory at the election. Our only gift to President Morgan Shangrai is the convergence of all the democratic forces, making sure that we unite progressive forces in Zimbabwe in a grand coalition that will be able to give a fighting chance to the people of Zimbabwe. But other party seniors, Tokozani Kupe and Edward Muzuri, who tussled with Chamisa over the acting leadership in the past weeks, were absent. The MDCT says even if the government doesn't recognize him, Chwangerai was a hero. We have declared President Chwangerai a national hero. But all President Emerson Mnangagwa has said so far is that the government will assist with the funeral. Meanwhile, tributes are pouring in. He really tried his best to represent uh, the interests uh, of, of, of the members of the, uh, uh, of the MDC and, and to try and advance a particular agenda in terms of what they thought was necessary in the terms of the, of the transformation of Zimbabwe. So uh, it, it's, it's a serious loss from, from that point of view. And, and I, I am I'm quite certain that it is necessary also for us to, 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 to convey our own condolences. You know, we, the first time we, we got involved um, in trying to mediate the relations among the political parties in Zimbabwe, that's between the MDC and ZANU-PF, was at the request of Morgan. MDCT says Chwangerai's wish was to be laid to rest in his home village of Buhera, and the party will work with the family to fulfill that wish. The party has suspended all activities until the funeral. Ntakwana Ngadani, SABC News.